Archie, Christina here. I am in Florida on summer break visiting my parents and uh, my mother is a fantastic chef. I learned everything I learned from her. This is my mom. Say hi mom. Hi mom. I mean hi. <laughs> and we decided that we wanted to share a video with you about how she makes her salmon and cream sauce pasta. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm chopping some parsley for the salmon cream pasta sauce. How much parsley do you think that is, Mama? Um, it's half a cup, maybe? Half a cup of chopped parsley. All right, get yeah. that ready. Now, over here, we have some salmon. My mom says that for about a pound of pasta, you want, what, six ounces? About six. What six is that? Six ounces of salmon. The water's boiling in there. You put about a tablespoon full of salt in there. Oh, oops. Whoa, did you see that steam? All right. Okay, good. Okay, we're cutting the salmon into chunks. So we're gonna about half cook the pasta, you know, about five minutes or so, and then we can start getting the salmon ready. You don't want to, you don't want to do the salmon too soon because it'll it'll just get dried out and hard. What we're doing here is we're taking one cup of grated pecorino romano cheese, putting it in a bowl and we're taking about a ladle or a ladle and a half full of water and mixing it with the cheese so that when we put it into the pasta dish, the cheese won't get stringy. So you're gonna pour the water in there, mix it up with a spoon, and that's about it. Uh, you heat up the oil on a low to medium temperature, yeah. and then you want to use some white wine, dry white wine, not sweet. And so we're putting in the salmon, and this burner is on medium right now, so it's on a 5 out of 10. So you saute that for maybe, I don't know, a minute, and then you want to raise the heat a little bit. We've raised it to number 8 out of 10, because when you pour the wine in, you want it to sizzle and, and burn off a little bit. What we're doing here is adding about a half a cup of dry white wine to the salmon, and we're going to let the uh, alcohol burn off a little bit. Now I'm going to take, we have about two minutes left for the pasta, so I'm going to take some more of the pasta water and put it into the salmon. Why do you do that? Because when the pasta goes in there and the cheese goes in there, the starch from the pasta water makes it creamy. And I'm going to lower the heat and wait for the pasta to get ready for going. <clears throat> You can use any kind of pasta. You can use uh, fusilli or um, uh, tagliatelle or penne or anything you want. You want it to be more al dente than when you when you have it to serve. So now here's a trick: if you cut a pasta like this and you see that white around there, that means that it's still not ready to eat, but it might be ready to put, yeah, it's ready to put into the salmon. Shut the water off. And you don't drain this pasta. You put it in like this. Any kind of sieve thing that you have is fine. to add the cheese. And now for the heavy cream.
it's getting a little bit creamier as we cook it in the in the cream and in the cheese. You could add a little bit of parsley while it's cooking. What are you looking for? I'm looking for it to get creamy. There's still a little liquidy. Okay. So this is ready. The sauce is thickened. I'm going to put it on a pretty, pretty plate. Good. Wish you guys could smell it. Papa, what are you going to eat tonight? Tonight, I'm going to have my favorite pasta. Penne with smoked salmon cream sauce. There's nothing quite like it. The whole house is filled with the, with the odor of the smoked salmon and the cream. Rigatoni is wonderful because what happens is the little pieces of salmon fill that get inside the rigatoni and you bite down on a rigatoni and you get a, a wonderful, wonderful piece of smoked salmon. There's no pleasure quite like it. Of it. <laughs> what are you doing? 